Hello, everyone. Welcome to the daily prayer program at six o'clock at Kardec Radio. We are very happy to be here having this moment that we connect with the higher spirits, helping raise our vibrations, safeguarding our homes and our family members. And to help us during this moment, we start by reading a message today from the book, Our Daily Bread. It was psychographed by Chico Xavier by the Spirit Emmanuel. And this is chapter nine, title, People of Faith. Therefore, everyone who hears my words and practice, practices them is like the wise man who built his house upon the rock, Jesus. In the gallery of venerable people of the faith, great preachers of the gospel have always been construed as being the greatest expressions of Christianity. However, this has been the case only when these instruments of the truth have not, in fact, forgotten the watchfulness that is crucial for righteous testimony. It is interesting to note that of all his disciples, the master regards most highly those who listen to his teachings and actually put them into practice. From this, we may conclude that people of faith are not only those who are prodigious in words and enthusiasm, but those who also display attention and goodwill in light of Jesus' teachings, studying their spiritual content in order to apply them in their daily endeavors. It is comforting to realize that all those involved in the field of evangelical service will progress toward the inner marvels of the faith. Still, we must at all times point out the great worth of sensible persons who, upon hearing the teachings and counsels of the good tidings, carefully attend to the solutions of all the problems of the day or circumstance without allowing their individual achievements to take place apart from the indispensable Christian foundations. In all sorts of service, the help of the spoken word is sacred and essential. However, in the lofty endeavor of self-betterment, learners must never forget the sublime value of keeping still at the right time so that prudence may be heard within their soul, guiding their destiny. So I want to just go back to, to one sentence here that is so interesting that he's saying that the master regards most highly those who listen to his teachings so not all, most highly those who listen to his teachings and actually put them into practice. Friends, this is so key for us because we study a lot, we read a lot, we pray a lot, we're here together. But Jesus is really calling for action at all times. It is very important for us to instruct ourselves, but it is not sufficient. So let us... Think of this, let us meditate maybe in some action moments that we can have um, daily, you know, exercising our Christian principles, maybe putting yourself a little bit out of our comfort zone. Trust me, it is not easy to do a Facebook Live. It is a work in progress, but it's something that we're trying to exercise our Christianity together with you. So, we always have opportunities. Let's not take them from, from uh, for granted. It is meant for us to exercise our goodwill. So with that, let us move into our prayer moment. And as always, we put some music to help us attune to higher vibrations. Let us close our eyes.
Let this moment sink in. It's a moment between us and God. Imagine that we hear a knock on the door at our house. We go to the door and outside of it is Jesus. You invite him in and you immediately can feel his presence, his vibrations of love permeating your home. <sighs> oh, Jesus, it is so good to have you. You bring us peace and quiet when we need it the most. Dear loving Master, we pray that you bless our homes, our families, our colleagues at work, our neighbors. We pray that everyone that feels afflicted receive showers of healing energies to the people that are experiencing pain and hunger, that they feel comforted by you. Oh, loving master, to the ones that haven't heard of the sweet messages you bring to us, we extend our warm, loving embrace as that we don't understand how they could go through difficult times without such an important foundation. And in this moment that we understand that we're going through changes, much needed changes, we pray that we keep our hearts and mind open to put into action good works aligned with the Christ consciousness, that we are expanding our altruistic skills, that we are giving more and asking less, that we are sharing always. We find ourselves in positions that we can always give more. And loving Master, we also want to express gratitude to the messengers of love that you send to care for us. Much gratitude to our guardian angel to the doctors and nurses in the spiritual realm, to the mentors of Kardec Rady, the Spiritual Society of Virginia and the Spiritual Society of DC, that have put so many beautiful works together to help us in this process of change. We are so grateful and couldn't ask for anything else. And with that, Master Jesus, we ask for your permission and your protection to close these moments of prayer. And so be it. Friends, Glad we were here together. Thank you so much. As always, as a reminder, we have so many programs happening. 
but there's definitely a special one. Every Sunday, 11 a.m., we're studying together the book Good News. We do it in a, in a more you know, friendly setting where we can see you over Zoom. So if you want to learn more about it, please go to the Spirit Society of Virginia Facebook page or website and it's streamed there. And you can also just get the, the information to connect to the Zoom meeting, okay? It's tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time. And we hope you can join us. Many blessings. Have a great end of the Saturday and beautiful Sunday. Bye-bye.